Welcome to V-Drum Tips. There are a couple of different mesh heads on the market and people keep asking me what to buy. I always say the DrumTech Real Feel Head. In this video, I want to prove my point and tell you why I think the DrumTech Real Feel Head is the best mesh head you can buy. Just hitting a pad with a stick will not give us a good result. Therefore, I built the Mesh Head Tester 3000. I drilled the hole into a drumstick right at the middle where you would balance the stick with your hand. This stick was mounted to a screw that is attached to some aluminum rest pieces. The drumstick can move freely now. To make it more accurate, I pull a pin instead of releasing the stick by hand. The stick will fall and the tip will hit the drum pad at the exact same spot with the same force every time. The drum head will be tuned with a tuning watch to ensure that every drum head that is tested has the exact same tension. I tuned this acoustic head to 75. We do 3 hits with every head and look at the rebound and the time until the stick stops bouncing. As you can see, the testing machine is very accurate. The stick behaves identical at all three attempts. Let's apply the Chobeki 3 ply hat. This hat is really quiet, has three layers and is slightly stretchy. I tune it with the same strength as the acoustic hat. Here you can see how bouncy a mesh head is in comparison to a real head. It bounces almost twice as long. Our next candidate is the DrumTech Basic One Ply Mesh Head, available in white and black color. This head is better than the Remo Silent Stroke as the mesh material is not as stretchy. Again, the same tension as before. One ply heads are quiet, but always bouncy. Up to the DrumTech 2 ply design series mesh head. Same tension, and here we go. The result is slightly better than the one ply head. Now it's time for my personal favorite mesh head. The DrumTech 3 ply real feel. This mesh head is heavy and you can almost not look through. So let's tune it. You might have noticed that it seems to be a bit harder than the other heads. And now a slow motion recap at half the speed. The real fee head is done first. The Chebeki 3 ply and the DrumTech 2 ply are similar and the 1 ply head is a trampoline. Let's do a noise comparison. I hit the pad with all my force. The noise winner is the Chebeki head. Next I show you the stretchiness. I pinch a drum key into the head. The further the key sinks into the head, the stretchier the head. And the stretchy mesh material means always more of a hotspot issue. The Chebeki 3 ply and the DrumTech basic head are stretchy and therefore vulnerable for hotspotting. The DrumTech 2 ply head is already good and the 3 ply head is close to a real drum head. 
the drum tech real feel hat is and stays the best mesh hat. If you want to have a reduced hotspot, realistic rebound and an intransparent drum head, you have to get those mesh heads. The only problem, they are loud. So if noise is an issue, get the Roland Power Ply head or even better, the Chubeki 3 Ply. Here is my personal mesh head top 9. I rated 4 factors at every mesh head I've ever tested. The rebound, meaning the less rebound, the higher the number. The noise, less noise equals a high number as well. Hot spotting, if the head does decrease hot spots, the number goes up. And build quality, meaning how well the head is made in terms of material and processing. never tested the Billy Blast head, the DDT head and the Roland 3 ply head. But since the Remo Silent Stroke is basically a one ply version of the Roland MH mesh head because the Roland heads are made by Remo, I would conclude that the Roland 3 ply head is still not as good as the Drum Tech Real Feel head because of the stretchy material. Why is the Drum Tech head the best? The stretchy mesh heads cannot be tightened at some point anymore. This will not happen with the Real Feel head as easily. These three plies are rock solid and allow you to tune it bone hard, which results in a more realistic playing feel and reduces the hotspot even more. The noise of the mesh head does also depend on the shell and the dampening. A resonant mesh head can always help to reduce noise. You can basically use a loud mesh head and make it quiet if you use the right shell and the resonant head. I have tested the Millennium Kawai head lately and used it as a replacement head for damaged Roland mesh head. The material is kind of transparent and the mesh head is a bit bouncy. It has two plies and it is better than the Remo Silent Stroke. But I would not really recommend it. Don't save at the wrong places. That's it for today. I hope this video gave you an idea about mesh heads. Thanks for watching and see you next time.